Chelsea to face Crystal Palace at Wembley in the FA Cup semi-final draw. Chelsea will face Crystal Palace in the FA Cup semi-finals at Wembley next month, it has been confirmed. Thomas Tuchel's made it to the semi-final stage for the fifth time in six seasons following a 2-0 win against Middlesbrough in the quarter-finals on Saturday evening. They will now face Crystal Palace at Wembley next month, as Manchester City drew the winners of Nottingham Forest and Liverpool in the other last four tie. FA Cup semi-finals will be played on the weekend of the 16th and 17th of April as they eye a place in May's final. Chris Wilder reveals Chelsea have what Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur lack. Speaking after his side's cup loss to Chelsea on Saturday afternoon, Wilder revealed what it was that separated Tuchel's side apart from that of Ralph Rangnick and Antonio Conte. We played a full-hit Man United, a full-hit Tottenham and a full-hit Chelsea, said the Middlesbrough boss, as quoted by Football London. We hung in there with United and beat them on penalties. We fully deserved it versus Tottenham and we couldn't find the right defensive moments tonight. Chelsea just find a way. It is the mentality of the group led by an incredible manager. They have stability with Thomas coming in and the other two clubs, Manchester United and Spurs, maybe don't have that. Their skipper Cesar Aspiliqueta, Thiago Silva and Antonio Rudiger just want to win and that's why they win things and are champions. Chelsea will be desperate to go as far as they can in this season's FA Cup, having lost the previous two finals in the competition against both Leicester and Arsenal the year prior. The European champions also lost a long-drawn-out Carabao Cup final to Liverpool this year so they will be eager to lift some domestic silverware under manager Tuchel. Thomas Tuchel reveals Chelsea will push to the limit to reach Manchester City and Liverpool in title race. Chelsea manager Thomas Tuchel has revealed his side will push themselves to the limit to try and reach Manchester City and Liverpool in the Premier League title race. The Blues are currently in third place in the league, having dropped a number of points over December and January due to injuries and several COVID-19 cases. They have not lost a league game now since the 15th of January to Manchester City, however, as they look to climb back up to put the pressure on the two teams at the top of the table. Speaking after his side's 2-0 win over Middlesbrough on Saturday afternoon that saw them progress through to the semi-final of the FA Cup, Tuchel revealed his side will do all they can to compete in the Premier League. The problem is they are also on a run for a long time, he said, as quoted by Football London. They are like three years on a run, I have the feeling and it seems like their three years on a run are 13 games is not enough. We have to be honest. We will never admit anything before things are decided. We will always push ourselves and push ourselves to the limit. We cannot do anything else, but we should not get carried away that two teams took advantage of our problems, so full credit to them, they deserve to be where they are and we need to make sure to catch as many points as possible. Antonio Rudiger almost certain to leave Chelsea on free transfer this summer. Antonio Rudiger is looking increasingly likely to leave Chelsea this summer, according to reports. The 29-year-old is out of contract at the end of the season, and despite talks taking place earlier this year, no new deal has been agreed. At the moment, the Germany international is unable to agree an extension because of Chelsea being under a special license which prohibits them of any transfer activity, which includes signing players and extending contracts. It means Rudiger's future is unclear, with his priority to stay with the European and world champions. However, as of now, he will leave at the end of June. As per the mail, the Chelsea defender is almost certain to leave, a huge blow to Thomas Tuchel who has relied heavily on the centre-back in the Blues' defence. Real Madrid, PSG, Juventus, Manchester United and Newcastle United have all been linked with a summer switch for Rudiger. Chelsea are expected to be taken over in the next couple of weeks, if everything goes according to plan. That will see the current licence lifted allowing the club to resume transfer activity. This would no doubt see futures be resolved, including Rudiger's. On his future, Rudiger told Gazetta dello Sport that he is happy in West London, and is only focusing on his spell at Chelsea. Future, at the moment I am here, I have always said that I am happy here and we will see what to do in the future. Chelsea loney Connor Gallagher wanted by Juventus and Inter Milan is scouts loom. Chelsea loney Connor Gallagher is currently on the radar of a number of Serie A clubs including the likes of Juventus and Inter, according to reports. The 22-year-old, currently on loan at Crystal Palace, is under the watchful eye of both clubs, with scouts having been sent to watch him play against Manchester City last week. 
Gallagher has been at Chelsea since 2008, however he is yet to make one senior appearance for the club. As reported by The Sun, Gallagher was watched by Juventus and Inter scouts last week as the two Italian giants make hurried arrangements ahead of a potential summer swoop. The Englishman is due to return to West London at the end of the season when his loan spell comes to an end. However, the current uncertainty surrounding the Blues has put his situation into question. Chelsea are currently searching for new ownership after current owner, Roman Abramovich, was sanctioned by the UK government for his close ties with Vladimir Putin. As a result, the club has been surrounded by questions concerning their future, as uncertainty over who will take over looms. Gallagher previously made it clear that he hasn't thought about his own future, amid rumours that he was in Thomas Tuchel's plans for the upcoming season. I haven't thought about my future at all. I just take every game as it comes, so I've not I've not thought too ahead at all. I think in the stage we're in this season and where Palace are as a team we can't afford to you know look too far into the future. We got a very important end of the season being in the quarter-final of the FA Cup now and needing to get points as well, which is very important. Crystal Palace keep their eye on Chelsea Loney Levi Colwill ahead of summer swoop. Crystal Palace have got Chelsea Loney Levi Colwill on their radar ahead of a potential summer swoop, according to reports. The 19-year-old has been with the Blues since 2011 when he joined as an under-9. Yet to make a senior appearance for his side, Colwill has spent this season on loan at Huddersfield. Since joining the championship side, the defender has made a total of 25 appearances, in which he has registered two goals. As per the Sun, Colwill is currently under the watchful eye of Crystal Palace, the club who currently possess fellow Blues loanee, Connor Gallagher. Colwill, who has impressed in the championship so far this season, could follow in the footsteps of fellow defender Mark Guahy and leave Stamford Bridge to join Crystal Palace at the end of the season. Despite not having an immediate vacancy in defence, Patrick Vieira may see the 19-year-old as a long-term investment for the South London side. Leicester City manager, Brendan Rodgers, was the last Premier League boss to show an interest in the Chelsea prodigy after he considered a loan move for the youngster in January. This move may have been profitable to the Blues, as some top-level Premier League experience may have been beneficial for the youngster before a potential reincorporation into Thomas Tuchel's squad next season. Chelsea are currently coming to terms with the departure of Andreas Christensen and the potential exit of Antonio Rudiger at the end of the season. Should the duo leave, Tuchel will be eyeing up replacement options in his defensive line. Hakim Ziyech reflects on good day after Chelsea beat Middlesbrough to book Wembley spot. Hakim Ziyech was pleased Chelsea could reach Wembley for a second time this season after they claimed a 2-0 win against Middlesbrough in the FA Cup quarter-finals. It's a good day for myself, of course, and for the team as well. We go back to Wembley, that's the most important thing. We move on, reflected Ziyech to Chelsea TV at the Riverside. In this kind of game it's always important to score early. If you don't score in the first half or the beginning of the game, they start believing in it. It will then a difficult afternoon. We finished it quite early in the first half. Of course they had some moments where you could maybe think they could come back. But in the overall game we didn't have a lot of trouble. Even in the second half, we had a couple of good moments to make it 3-0, but we didn't. In the end, 2-0 is good enough to go to Wembley. On his goal, he added, it started good on the left. We switched side on the right moment. As P made the run behind me, I had two options and I found the space. Without thinking I thought I've got to shoot and it went in. It was a perfect goal. I've been impressed, with the team. We've played in so many competitions, we always stood there, always ready, and always make it come through over 90 minutes. We as a team, how difficult the situation is, we always finish the job. We can be proud of that and after the break too, look forward to what is coming. That is on just new today. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you by tomorrow news.